Good evening, everybody. I hope you're well. I feel like I haven't vlogged in ages. I haven't like done a little update in ages. I've been putting out little snippets of our week away. Where do we go? Where do we go this week? Um, to holiday. Yeah, but where do we go? Do you remember? Um, what was on the TV? Um, my. No. Um. Spain. Went to Spain, didn't we? Yeah. Went to Alicante. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you would have seen that. But I have put some little videos out and that I made on TikTok to put onto YouTube. Yes. See you banana and I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> we got back. Our flight was at 7.20. We got a taxi at 5 a.m. to Alicante Airport. Um, it was an early start. I mean, I, I don't think I Mom? really slept either, you know? I mean, you just don't switch off because you know you got that so early. Why are you talking to? I'm talking Mom? to myself. <laughs> Am I silly? I'm silly, all right. Yeah. Um, I come home. Well, Graham picked us up. Daddy picked us up, didn't he? Why are you talking to that? From Gatwick. I was absolutely ravenous because we'd been up and we obviously didn't eat and had. We, well, actually, we had a muffin, didn't we? At, in the airport. But because obviously it was so early um, and I had a coffee and then on the flight I had a cup of tea but I was just ravenous by um, by the time he picked us up and went through bloody security and my tummy passport because security Mom. whatever so we got Mom. dry food on the way through and my tummy hurts when my going oh come on don't do that apple juice yeah you did um but anyway um I got home and I like Graham can look after himself, like food wise, but the house just goes to pot, honestly. Like he was like, oh yeah, I had Hoover yesterday. And um, yeah, it's looking really clean. I walked in and it literally smelled like farts, didn't it? It smelled like farts in the house. And I was no. just like, no, this is it's revolting. No, I don't think it was though. I think Alistair's eating a lot of eggs this week because he can cook eggs himself. Um, Honestly, the house, it wasn't that bad. Like, it's the kitchen mainly. It's the heart of the home, isn't it, the kitchen? So it was just, all, every side was just full of stuff. And I was just like, I'm, I just like having clean sides. Tidy, clean, and the floors. I mean, I'm very particular. Like, obviously, I love having the dogs in, but it's been rainy this week. <laughs> so um, you've got to, you know, you've got to clean the paws off before they come in. But anyway, we have had a good holiday. Um, it was a really relaxing holiday actually. I feel like we didn't do a lot and we were right on the beach. The apartment was on the beach and that's all I really wanted. The kids just played and we had chilled days and we went just little walks every day, just like the local parks and, and just the little shops and cafes and whatever. And, and we did one day in Alicante City, which was absolutely, it was the, probably the best weather day as well. Um, so it was glorious and we did a little bit of sightseeing and a lot of walking. Um, a lot of eating as well. It just I feel like you just have to just have lots of food, don't you, when you travel? Um, but yeah, it was it was a really good holiday. I feel really relaxed from it, and, and and that's just what you need, isn't it? You don't necessarily need to do a lot as long as you kind of chill and relax. And the kids were happy. Um, but I really really miss the boys massively. You okay. And actually, I just, I don't know, I just had full on mum guilt like, as we were leaving. Um, I knew Alistair did not 100% want to come, but you still feel that guilt of like, I think it's more so when we went away in the um, six weeks holiday, because six weeks is six weeks, it's so long, it didn't feel like much, but I think because this half term's only one week, it felt like literally I had a week off. And I spent, no, I've not really spent any of it with Alistair. I felt really bad about that. I had full on mum guilt of like, why did I pick this week? Because I probably should have gone for like, like April, they, we have two weeks off or, you know? But it is what it is, it was books. It was a last minute decision. I just thought, let's do it, let's get away. Um, I said I wanted to do more traveling this year and I definitely want to continue. Um, I just need to pick my moments maybe a little bit better. You know, he had a great week. He's been in the shop. He's been happening on the farm. He's been literally sorting out all the animals. Nana is away as well, which means he's been doing her chickens as well and feeding around the goats, feeding around everything. He's just been, he's been emptying the dishwasher, which is a massive achievement for Alistair. He literally does not a lot around the house 90% of the time. So, um, yeah, he's had a really good week and it's been, 
really positive sometimes to go away, step out of the household with, because I do so much. You know me, I, I can't help myself but do everything. It's just, I feel the need to. Um, so it's good to step out of that situation and just let them get on with it. Okay, if the house goes to pot, like whatever, like I will tidy up and I'll sort it out when I get back. But actually, it's good for them, like especially Graham and Alistair, to have time together and they've done the usual karate fight club and they've had meals out and takeaways. And um, like I said, Alice has been in the shop, which has been really, really good helping which has been a massive help for Graham but also it's been good for his confidence because he really lacks confidence and I think doing these little bits really help him um, but it, when I saw him his face lit up so much and I was just so happy honestly so happy to be home and see him and just oh, I really had missed him and I've missed Graham massively honestly it's surprising when you go away and I miss Pancake Day and I miss Valentine's Day and I felt really bad about that because actually when I booked here, I didn't even think about that. And actually I missed my dad's birthday as well, which is on the 15th. God, I was in everyone's bad books, I think, this week for going away. But not really. No one really worries that much. You know, we just catch up another day. But yeah, when you <laughs> roll about and think about it, God, I, I, don't, I don't think I picked the best week to go away. But we've had a great week nonetheless. Um... God, I feel like I've rambled forever. Anyway, I'm cooking dinner right now. Um, I've got a lovely bit of, bit of fillet. Bit of fillet. Look at this, beauty. I'm gonna put that, I actually do, I always cook my steak in the grill. I just find it, I can just cook it the best in the grill without overdoing it and let it rest as well. So I'm gonna have this for dinner. Steak and chips with broccoli, of course. Right, excuse Alistair's, I mean, Miles's spider. Very noisy. And they're beautifully marbled. We need five pieces. Three. Okay. It looks quite dark because I've actually put on my new lights. Ooh. Look, Graham's been busy. He, um, I bought this. I basically painted the kitchen. Um, as you can see, I painted it like a, a foresty dark green. Um, it was originally like a sage green that had been for five years. And I was just like, I really want to refresh this year. I said I want to do some DIY and I'm desperate to change this colour. And I went for, I still love a green. I feel like it's really in still and I don't, I, I just love it. I feel like it goes with the house really well. Um, and then I was like, oh, I wonder if we can put a pendant up and just put some like like lighting over the the whatever that is, breakfast bar, whatever you call it. And um, I found this light, um, these lights from Dunelm. And I love them, I feel like it works. And we've got the big pendant over our dining room table, so I feel like it just ties in quite nicely with the black as well. Anyway, I'm doing skin on fries and I'm doing sweet potato fries because I love those. I'm doing them in the air fryer. Oh, how I've missed my air fryer so much. Honestly, I haven't cooked, I cooked once this week um i cooked literally on the last night um yeah i've missed i i think i haven't realized actually how much how much meat i eat like we eat a lot of meat we eat like chicken steak um pork you know what i mean like we just eat a lot of meat every every night we have meat and on holiday honestly we just ate carbs i just had pasta pizza toast sandwiches like different croissants you know just different things that they had um i barely i think the only bit of meat that i had was in my carbonara obviously they've put some ham in it gentle um and then also i made like a pasta ragu thing with like a sausage in it last night but honestly i, I miss meat so much um, no, anyway. Right, Miles, please stop playing with the lights. Oh my goodness, it was such a dreary day. Like, as soon as they, they were pulling in, like the flight, they were like, so we're coming into very foggy weather, rainy, 
very foggy, rainy, cloudy, and five degrees. And I was like, oh my God, so depressing. Um, Cause it's been literally 18 to, we've got highs of 24 this week in Alicante. I've got to show you the doggies towel robe thingies. I actually got these from TikTok shop. I think shoes was like 13 pounds and then Henry's was about a tenner. Honestly, like in the beginning they were a bit unsure, like what the hell are you putting on me? But when it rains, honestly, as you can see, like Henry is so fluffy, it's a bit of a pain in the bum um, getting him dry, but these are amazing. I've got adorable. Adorable. Love them in good shape. Look, that's how easy it is. That. Oh, your shake. Oh, yes. It's kind of um, it's like a toweling. It's kind of fleecy more on the inside. It's like toweling. It's got a big neck on it. Cozy. Right hand, join yours off, please. Yes. And it's got a label in. I thought I'd pour myself a lovely glass of rosé. I haven't had any alcohol for the last couple of weeks and I thought, oh, really, you know, you just really fancy it. Because I don't drink very often, it's nice to actually get the, like, feeling of just pouring a glass of wine. Just waiting for Graham. He literally picked us up and then went back to work, so. Yeah. Kind of how it goes, like normal, really. But we're gonna have a nice little Sunday together. I'm gonna do a roast. He's gonna, um, well, he's gonna bring home whatever it looks good and what's left from the markets. And anyway, the whole reason why I wanted to come on is just say hi. Um, I do want to start posting a bit more. I just, ugh, I just get into these weird funks of like routine and and just. Ugh, Self-doubt, I think that's what it is more than anything. The self-doubt is just saying to me, why would anybody want to watch what you're doing? Like, because it's just day-to-day -day boring Monday life. And my routine is very, very on schedule, weekly, you know? And it can, for me, it's just it's just the same and it's just a bit tedious and boring. And, and going away sometimes is just nice, it's a change and it's a, it's a it's a space where you can think differently and and it lightens my mood just to be away from doing the mundane tasks that I always have to do cooking and cleaning and just being a mum all the time and and the routine of school pick up and you know work days and dog walks it's just getting away just means that you just you do just things out of the ordinary you sit and do not a lot sometimes for hours and it can be so nice because I very rarely sit and do nothing so um yeah hopefully I will see more of you in vlogs and um yeah just stop doubting myself like I always do but anyway I hope you're having a good half term I know it's been a wet week because Graham's been telling me every day it's raining today and I've been going it's sunny here <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've been quite positive about that, but um, yeah. I hope you've had a good half term. Rain obviously puts a damper on things, but there's still so much you can do. And to be fair, kids love being at home. My, my kids love being at home and they love doing their own thing. They're at that age where they just enjoy playing with their toys or on their screens, or watching movies, and just, you know, we do like forest walks and stuff. I think we we'll go out for a forest walk tomorrow, come rain or shine, whatever. Um, and I'll do a nice roast dinner. I already did school like washing before I left. I wanted to get that done and out of the way because obviously I have got a little bit of holiday washing to do and Graham didn't do any washing while I was away so I've got the boys washing as well. But um, yeah, hopefully I will catch you up with you next week. But anyway, I feel like the wine's talking now. It's going to my head already. But have a good weekend or week everybody and um, if you're back into routine next week, Hurrah! I do love a bit of routine, you know me, pure Capricorn over here. Um, but yeah, I will see you in my next one.